Hey guys, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading doing the nightly free video for Wednesday, October the 3rd. And I've got the S&P up here on the screen. We'll get started there and um, take a look at it. And as you can see this morning, we got a pretty big gap right out of the open this morning. And then we just chopped. I mean, for the bulk of the day just completely sideways not going anywhere and then all of a sudden we had this pretty pretty good selling all the way really into the close and um, it looks I guess probably a lot more volatile than it really was I think at one point we we're up 13 and we ended up closing up two or something like that so um, a sell-off from this high but uh, what is interesting is that we opened this morning at 29.30, 29.31, roughly, something like that. And um, I guess it was right here, because we had that gap up at the open. And, of course, we closed here. Um, and that's only five points apart. Ironically, the, the yesterday, we opened at 29.32, and we closed at 29.32. And that's been happening a lot lately, I've noticed, over the last five or ten days. Um and I'll show you, matter of fact, let me pull it up here. We've had quite a few on the from the open to the close um, where we've had, I mean, basically, I'm trying to find another example here. We've had almost the same, you know, from the opening price to the closing price um, has been the same. And, you know, and I don't know what to make of that. It just, it's been kind of, it's happened a lot more often lately than I've seen. We go all over the place and we kind of end up where we started from. But uh, while we're here on a 10-day chart, you know, if you look at this, of course, in the bigger, you know, bigger time frame with like a 10-day, uh, we're coming back up to this 2940 area. Now we got pretty close there. This is the all-time high, and again, we kind of approached it there. We touched it there, and now we're we're pulling back. So you know, step one, if we're going to go higher, we have to obviously get back to this and, you know, and break through. And I think we probably will. Um, but again, this is a pretty, you know, pretty wide range of chop and, you know, back and forth, back and forth from 2940 to 2903, you know, essentially 2900, just kind of back and forth, back and forth. And if you drew a line across the middle, you know, we're there about 2925 and we've crossed that line, you know, many, 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 many times. So, you know, again, we look at things on a daily chart, on a one minute chart, and then we kind of go out to larger time frames and see, you know, see if we can make, you know, heads or tails of what's going on. Um, so let's take this and we'll go back out to a 20 day chart from a 10 day chart and now the pattern looks a little more calm and, and uh, you know kind of kind of slow and steady up here again take out the highs and lows and you know it looks like we keep on this trajectory and go higher and I think that's what happens I just if we go to a even larger or a longer time frame here let's get a one year chart um, you can see that you know here is where we kind of bumped up into this uh, 2940 level and again if we you know if we look at these larger time frames um, we keep we're kind of hugging the upper end of this channel as we go higher uh, which is good but um, I was talking about this in the you know in the trading room today is that I think it would be much healthier for the market if we pull back some you know whether it's to this 20 day or 50 day or somewhere in this channel um, to give it a run higher as we get a little bit further in time and what I'm looking for specifically is that the this third week in October here from the 15th to the 19th and really this next week the 22nd through the 26th that's when all of the big names really report Amazon Google um, I think Apple's in this next week so in the next you know not not really this we had Costco report today after the close but um, next week there's you know sprinkled earnings there's a handful but we really get into the meat of the earnings season in the third and, and fourth week in um, October so I suspect that um, that we could pull back ahead of that uh, the you know but ahead of getting into the really main part of the earnings season 
and um, that would be healthier for the market. It would be uh, it would give the market a lot more stability going higher versus just you know racing up to you know three thousand immediately without you know pausing to take a breath because when you do that, um, unfortunately, you tend to kind of get these kind of moves. Um, and, and maybe not that dramatic, but if we keep going higher without a break, you know, we, we could, um, we could have a deeper, um, consolidation because the market will always, always, always revert back to the mean, you know, you'll always have consolidation, you know, trees don't grow the sky and all that kind of stuff. Um, so just kind of be expecting that. And, it, and again, if you notice, it's pretty obvious on this chart. If you notice it's, it's, this range is is getting tighter and tighter these these bigger you know pullbacks here are, are they're really not happening these are pretty shallow um, so again I, I would not that I'm bearish and I'm not short or anything like that but if if we do if we do get a pullback one it's healthy for the market and I will use it as a buying opportunity to try to get long ahead of this earnings season because I think this earnings season is going to be pretty good and you want to be focused on the leaders you know and the strong names you know, the Amazons and the Boeings and uh, transports have been doing really well. Some of the rails, CSX and so forth, um, continue to do pretty well. So, you know, as we get a little bit closer, we'll focus on more specific names. We still got a couple of weeks, but um, anyway, I want to put a backdrop to that and give you a short overview of the market um, as I see it. One other thing too, while I'm here, we'll, so this is a, this the um, SPX, we'll look at the NDX, same thing, exact same thing, right? Um, I mean, that's just cookie cutter pattern, right? Well, notice something a little unusual here. Look at the rut. The rut is not, you know, not playing along. So we're doing the same thing. And then all of a sudden, you know, we just kind of nosed out over here. <clears throat> and interestingly, I put this marker. Matter of fact, you probably saw it in one of the previous videos I did. It's been there for weeks and weeks, probably three, four, five weeks. I said if we get back down, if we pull back to 1650, which just based on these uh, channels and this the, the retracement, I thought that we could get back to 1650. We touched that yesterday, 1653, and I said I would be a buyer here rather than a seller, and I did pick up a little bit yesterday here, and you know, and it's and we got a nice little rebound today. Um, if you are looking as far as indexes, you know, the IWM and the RUT, same thing. Um, you know, consider a bullish play there. I, I think I would rather be, um, and I've said this before, I'd rather be buying, you know, the rut and the, um, and, and if I had to, number two would probably be the NASDAQ and the third one would be the S&P because I think the S&P could retrace a little bit before going higher. So again, just want to throw out some ideas, uh, generically speaking, as we get a little bit closer to earnings in the next week or two, um, we'll talk about some more specific names and get kind of set up for earnings. Um, so that is an overview. Uh, again, it's Wednesday, October the 3rd. I hope this helps. And thanks for the time. I'll see you at the next update.